um, talking about stuff happening this time soon, I'm really, really happy and pleased to see um, this new fucking music video featuring J. Cole and Drake. It's absolutely amazing and it kind of reminded me of the incredible run that Drake has been on at the moment with these fucking music videos. It feels like he hasn't missed so far, music video-wise. Like He's been absolutely, absolutely killing it when it comes to music videos. I, I think of the one that he did with fucking um, with 21 Savage, um, Jimmy Cooks. That was sick. I think of the one where he did with all the girls are basically trying to propose to him. I forgot that one, what it was. I think it was like a prom night or something. I forgot what that's wrong. Oh, that's right. Uh, falling Back. Um, I think of Sticky. That was great. Jimmy Cooks with 21 Savage was a fucking awesome video. Um, the performance with Savage or Privileged Rappers was fucking sick. Rich Flex was, re- oh, sorry, Rich Flex was really good. Jumbo Shit Poppin' was good. Spin Bout You was awesome. It basically seems like he hasn't missed with his music videos. I'm not just sure what happened because it was a period in time where Drake's music videos were terrible. Really, really average. Really corny. Really lame. And if anything, they made you kind of hate the songs. But somewhere along the line, he sort of turned shit around and decided, you know what? None of this. Let's actually go and start putting out sick music videos again and reminding these motherfuckers what time we're actually on. And so far, this video that he did with J. Cole for the fucking single first person shooter is absolutely sick. I love that how it's, it's basically two goats you know battling out throughout the entirety of the fucking music video that's kind of really the theme i love the fucking first um scene here that you got uh drake and j cole playing table tennis in front of a crowd of like hundreds of thousands some arena it starts off in the office and then it goes to them playing in an arena that looks absolutely sick and they got to like all these fucking phones watching them play in the dark in this massive fucking space and then i love how they recreated this iconic picture um that most of you will know um that was um, done for vogue i think that features messi and christian Ronaldo. if i'm not mistaken the only sad thing about that picture if i'm not mistaken wasn't it true that they weren't in the same room at the same time it was a photo shoot that they basically blended the images together. That was the only sad thing about it. Like, there's no actual footage of them doing the photo shoot together, if I'm not mistaken. But um, regardless, um, Drake and J. Cole recreated that amazing scene between Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. That was really sick. Then you got this really cool little um, scene here with Drake and um, J. Cole looking at their squaring up for a fight, UFC type, type of thing. Um, Drake does a really good impression of a fighter actually crossing his arms. His shadow boxing is pretty good, but J. Cole's is terrible. You can tell J. Cole can't fight. Like, the way he he was fucking swinging in the air was horrendous like he definitely needs security <laughs> so he's definitely not somebody that could trust his hands i also love the meme bit um where they're pointing at each other like the spider-man meme that's done really well um Dr- jacob probably put the, put the he couldn't put the mask on because he's got too much these dreads are too much um obviously fucking drake did that was fucking awesome and then i also loved the best bit for me was when it turned and the beat switched towards the end and drake obviously can't flipping spazzed and went absolutely crazy right in that in that verse he went absolutely nuts reminded me he actually reminded me why i love the song so much i felt like as much as people complain and say that drake should have come harder or that fucking j cole watched him i think what he did really well in this album in general he let the songs breathe like when somebody else would fit better like even the yeet feature yeet obviously spun on that verse on that track that they've got together but i felt like drake did that on purpose like he actually is at a place now where maybe he's not as what's that thing called insecure when it comes to his records he's not really trying to outperform or outwrap people he's actually giving them space to do their own thing and i felt like he did this with his j cole feature like he actually let j cole do his thing um snap and go do hard as he needed and at the end he obviously did his thing but it was more so hey what can i do to bring the best out of both of us on this track and he spun and he did that shit i love it um i actually do love these pants i think last time i remember him saying something along the lines of he makes them himself drake said he makes these pants as well i think it was um during that interview with one of those um instagram what are you wearing outfit type people i think he mentioned he makes them himself so he just makes them in different materials and shit but i really like the pants that drake's wearing these days these massive oversized cargo things because they're kind of done in the shape that he obviously likes where they're really narrow at the top but they have this kind of bulbous almost wide fit at the bottom but they're also not super flary they just look more baggy that's something that i actually like um, i'm not really the fan the biggest fan of the constant flare thing i kind of like when they're just baggy um uh, you know they've got like a slim fit but they're just baggy towards the bottom so he cuts those really well there's a really great scene i love the bit where he's naming all the girls and then the girls are all like the dogs in the fucking lift that's really good right carlene Arlene, dun, dun. Like, like he's fucking snaps on that one um that's a really good scene obviously all the dogs coming out and then 
there's a really cool scene here where Drake's at the top of the building, um, like Michael Jackson, right, with the with the fucking pavements, um, bits lighting up on the floor, and he's dancing and shit, and absolutely going crazy, and he's got this really amazing, he's got like it looks like a, it looks like he's got like a bejeweled coach jacket on, like he got a coach jacket and he got it basically done in sequence, which looks sick. I'd love to see that actually. If that's true, someone make that. Like take a classic streetwear staple, which is a coach jacket, and then cover it in fucking sequins. So it's all sparkly and shit. And he's also wearing the original Michael Jackson glove that he's got, um, performing to a crowd of people down below, right? He's got it here. You can kind of, I think it's like a baseball jacket. Maybe it's a baseball jacket. I'm not too sure what it is exactly, but it looks absolutely sick. But then I love the best bit for me is the statue because it reminds me of that. Um, if you remember, I think around, maybe it was, uh, yeah, was it? I think, I think it was the album History actually. This is why I know someone Michael Jackson law. During history, Michael Jackson was fucking, you know, biggest thing person out. And his record label um, decided for a promotion of his album, they decided to make this fucking huge statue um, that was really big. It was a big statue and they had five of them. And I think they sent them to different parts of, of the world. One of them came to London. If I remember correctly, they had it on a barge going through the fucking River Thames. And they had to even fucking stop the fucking, um, what do you call it? They had to, uh, one of the bridges, I forgot what the bridges, had to kind of be um, lifted up for the fucking statue to go through. And it was huge, huge, huge statue that was made. And it's kind of like in grey with Mark Jackson. It's kind of the iconic pose that he does in that video that everyone kind of knows, the famous one where he's wearing the glasses and has that kind of metal admiral fucking uniform on. And he's performing and he just stands there for like 10 minutes, not moving. And everyone in the crowd is fainting and shit. It's that exact pose. They got that pose and they made it into kind of like clay you know cement type looking thing and they had it flown or look you know put in five different locations around the world and i think drake basically copied that same statue if i'm not mistaken so you see the same thing because obviously made it in gray as well it looks fucking sick and it's the same statue that he wore no it's the same pose that he wore in the video for um what's that one where he's wearing the fucking virtual stuff that's a that's am in charlotte isn't it yeah atm in charlotte with a jacket that's covered in the v's which is great as well because drake's always fucking picking up and honoring um virgil's legacy even more so than fucking yay which is awesome to think about that and it really considering that yeah he's a much closer friend to virgil than drake was but drake definitely does honor his name but yeah big up drake and fucking j cole love the fucking music video absolutely well done and i think the director as well needs to get a lot of credit who's the director that did it director was gibson hazard gibson hazard absolutely smashed it whoever gibson had this is absolutely killed it gibson hazard absolutely killed it what a great fucking music video i enjoyed every fucking bit of it i think he's even got a credit at the end in it somewhere here if i'm not mistaken let me see if i can find it got a credit like a massive yeah, there we go gibson hazard deserves all the credit there for that amazing music video um of course they're featuring j cole for first person first person shooter absolutely loved and enjoyed it absolutely loved and enjoyed it <laughs> 